In this video, we will go over the newly rewritten Audit House feature. Audit Houses has been completely rewritten from the ground up and designed to allow you to create multiple Audit House templates as well as export multiple Audit Houses and clients at one time. You will no longer be restricted to exporting one client and one Audit House at a time. Let's take a look at the newly redesigned Export Setup dialog. Navigate to Setup, Audit Houses. In this dialog, we see that it is now possible to create multiple Audit House export settings for several clients. For example, you may have several clients that all use leads, but they may not all have or require the same export settings. In this new dialog, you can now maintain multiple export settings for the same Audit House type but have different settings for each one. If you have purchased multiple Audit House modules, then each one you have purchased will appear in this dialog. In this video, we will work specifically with the Leads 1998B format, so let's open one up. You still have the same settings as you always have, but you now have the ability to define custom export file names. These custom file names can be set up in this dialog and can be changed at any time. You also have the ability to export all of your clients to one single export file or export each client to their own separate file. If you choose to export each client to their own separate file, you can now also define if that file uses the client's nickname 1 only or the nickname 1 and the date. Let's take a look at the preference section by navigating to Setup, Preferences, Other. Under the Audit House Path section, you can define a custom folder where you would like all of your export files to reside. You can even take it one step further and choose to create a subfolder based on the date. Using this option is great for if you export multiple times and want all of your export files to be organized in their own folders. Let's define our custom path and mark create subfolders based on date for now so that we can proceed to export some test files. To export files, you still need to make sure you have your custom fields for your specific audit house defined per the help documentation as well as your appropriate A, E, and L codes defined on your slips. Navigate to Bills, Send Bills to Audit Houses. This new dialog now allows you to work with any combination of client and audit houses that you want. You can view just by one type of audit house or all, and you can also filter this list further with selection filters. There is also a new counter in the bottom left hand corner. This counter now gives you a complete number of clients versus the number of clients for each audit house you have selected. For now, we are going to view only the Leeds 1998B audit houses, as well as only select a lead specific client. Here, you can see this dialog now shows more information when dealing with split clients. And since split clients build together, they also export together. Let's export their files by clicking on Export. We are presented with the Save dialog that lets us know that the export file is going to be placed in a subfolder with today's date and contain our custom file name that we defined earlier in the export setup area. Once we save, the files are exported and depending on how many you export, you will see a nice progress indicator that lets you know exactly where the export process is. Once the export is complete, you now have a choice to view a detailed log that shows you everything that is completed. Once you have exported, you can choose to either send to audit stage or not send to audit stage. And the same goes for approval. You can choose not to approve and leave the bills in proof stage if you wish. The export dialog also now has a much more detailed information for when an export has failed. Let's see how a failed export looks.
we will choose client Leads 98 ABS. Once we export, we are presented with a dialog that tells us we had warnings. Notice how we can still choose to export it or cancel. If we view the log first, we can see what the warnings are. The log lets you know that we had some missing custom fields, as well as tasks on specific slips. This is much more detailed than previous versions and makes it really easy and fast to know who to correct to move on. At this point, we can print the log or exit and choose not to move the client to audit stage since we have some corrections to make. Now you can set up and export audit house bills faster and more efficiently.